I'm Jan. I'm the Director of Animal Welfare here at Aspen Valley Wildlife Sanctuary and you're watching our new vlog series. Aspen rehabilitates orphan and injured wildlife and we also provide a home for over 30 permanent animals. Every day is a different adventure here at Aspen Valley so come along with us and see what we're up to this week. Oh, mine would be. Currently, Aspen is rehabilitating eight river otters. These otters came into us this spring as orphans. Every day, each otter eats between 1,200 and 1,400 grams of fish. That's approximately 10 kilograms of fish a day. Right now, our group of five has access to the outdoor pond. In colder temperatures, Larissa has to break the ice daily so the otters have access to the water. River otters are semi-aquatic mammals, which means they live partly on land and partly in the water. Otters are high energy, curious creatures that need lots of enrichment. Here, Larissa makes them a fish snowman to play with. Hi, I'm Eva. I'm the volunteer coordinator here at Aspen Valley, uh, but I'm also an animal caretaker. My specialties are the aquatic birds, and a week ago uh, a golden eye came in. Um, so we're now going to wash the birds here in the aquatic building center. A golden eye is an aquatic bird, meaning they spend almost their whole life in water. When aquatic birds come into rehab, most likely their waterproofing has been compromised in some way. Dirt, human hands, oils from the fish we feed, many things can cause a bird to lose waterproofing. Even a small area can be detrimental. Eva likes to compare it to us wearing a diving suit with a tiny hole in it. In the beginning, we would be fine, but after hours or days, the suit would be filled with water. In a case like this for a bird, they would eventually die of hyperthermia. To get the bird back to the wild as soon as possible and completely waterproof, we have to wash them. This washing process takes a high level of expertise and needs to be done quick and perfect. Eva starts with washing the bird to get the dirt from the feathers. Only gently rubbing the feathers on the neck and the head, not touching the rest of the feathers, but making waves in the water, like a washing machine would work. One of the most important steps is the rinse. The soap gets the dirt from the feathers out, but the soap itself makes the bird not waterproof.
When the rinse is done correctly, the water should beat up and run off the feathers. The next step is to dry the bird under warm air, test the waterproofing in a filtered pool, and then this little girl will be ready for release. It's important to release her where there are other golden eyes. After looking at an app called eBird, we found a location not too far from us that still had golden eyes gathered. Great job, Eva. Thanks for watching this week's vlog. If you would like to support Aspen Valley, you can go to our website at aspenvalley.ca. See you next time. Bye.